Spotify is one of the world's most popular music streaming apps. However, when your app's user base is so wide, you have to make sure that the design appeals to everyone. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Candidate Technology and in this video, we're going to talk about what the icons mean on your Spotify app. So here's a quick overview of all the Spotify icons that we commonly use. Also keep in mind that the icons are consistent between the phone and the desktop apps, so you don't really need to get confused here. To start off, we could be going over the currently playing song icons, which you can see are common as we've seen in every media app ever. So you have the play pause icon, you have the next song icon, you have the previous song icon, you have the shuffle button right there, then you have the Spotify connect icon, which you can use to play music on different devices that are on that have your Spotify account logged in. Finally, we also have the share button right here. And then we have the add to playlist button. If you tap on the three vertical dots on the top right, you can open the context menu where all the icons you see are already labeled. On the home page, we've got uh, the bell icon, which is for your Spotify notifications, a clock icon with three dots in the top left corner, which shows your recently played songs. And finally, the settings gear icon. Down below, you've also got search, which allows you to search for any song that you want or the camera icon tapping, which will allow you to scan the Spotify QR code for any song. Then you can switch over to your library, which has a completely different set of controls. So you can press the search icon, but this will search just your library and not Spotify as a whole. Then you also have the plus icon if you want to create a new playlist. Then you can tap on the up and down arrows to open a few options to sort your library. And then you can change the way your library is viewed by tapping on this list icon. So currently it's in the grid form, but if I tap this, it will switch to a list form. And then I can tap it again to switch back to a grid form if that's what I like. And that's all the icons that you need to know about when using Spotify. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we bring for you. If you want to know more about tech, visit our website, Candidor Technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter, and we'll see you in the next video.